depreciating assets or how to depreciate assets. This lesson will show how to use and create exponential functions to accurately depreciate assets. Two common depreciable assets are automobiles and computing equipment. This car is a Lamborghini Murcielago LP 460 Roadster value about $400,000. Autos usually lose 15 to 20 percent of their value each year. And this is an IBM ThinkPad Z61M laptop computer. The type of computer I'm using now as I'm putting together this video. Computers lose their value even faster than cars. It isn't so much that the computers themselves age particularly, but they obsolesce as newer, faster computers come out with more features, more hard drive space and RAM, etc. A computer like this may lose 25 to 30 percent of its value per year, partly pushed by the aggressive pricing of the newer computer models. The thing we have to remember with depreciation is the same thing that we need to consider when looking at sales prices. In a sale, when something is 20% off, what does that mean? Well, it means that 20% off the full price or 100% price and 100 minus 20 equals 80. So the price of something on a 20% off sale is 80% of the original price. It's the same with depreciation. If this car depreciates at an annual rate of 20%, this car that is worth $25,000 this year will be worth $25,000 times 0.8 or $20,000 one year later. And one year after that, its value will be 20,000 times 0.8 or 16,000. And one year after that, it will be worth 16,000 times 0.8 or $12,800. And this goes on and on. With a graphing calculator, it's even easier. You go to the y equals view first. And here we enter the initial value of 25,000 for $25,000. Next, we multiply by 0.8 for 80% of, or a, that's a 20% decline rate. We then enter the exponent key, the little rooftop symbol on the right side of the keypad. And then finally we press the X key to have the complete function. Now we look at the table view by pressing second, then the graph key. We see under the Y1 the values of the car from year to year. Let's look at this problem. If John's computer equipment valued today at $1,200 depreciates at an annual rate of 30%, what will be the equipment value three years from now? Stop the video and solve the problem, then restart it to see how you did. First thing I would do is go to the Y equals view. The next thing is to enter the initial value of the equipment, $1,200 for $1,200. What do we need to multiply by for a depreciation of 30%? We need to enter 0.7 for 70% since a 30% decline means that 70% of the value will remain after one year. Then we enter to the power of x. Now press second, then graph. We see a table showing the values calculated from the function y equals 1,200 times 0.7 to the power of x. And we go down to year three and see that the value is $411.60. So that would be a correct answer C. We were able to go over just a couple of problems today. This has been depreciating assets or how to depreciate assets. Thanks for viewing.